Love comes in all forms, and so do people's taste in romantic TV shows. Some people like true romances, some like fights, and others, like myself, like to cry a whole lot. Luckily, you can find all of these in anime sometimes, all in one show. From comedies to tearjerkers, there's a romantic anime out there for almost everyone. If you're looking for something to watch on Valentine's Day, or any other day for a matter of fact, today we will talk about the top 5 best anime series about love and romance. But before we start the countdown, go ahead and subscribe. Also, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In the list of top 5 best anime series about love, at number 5 we have Nisikoi. Nisikoi, released in English as Nisikoi False Love, is a Japanese romantic comedy manga series written and illustrated by Naoshi Komi. Nisikoi was first published as a one-shot manga in Shuisha's Seasonal Jump Next magazine, before being serialized in the weekly Shonen Jump in November of 2011. Since November 26, 2012, Nisikoi has been published in English in Viz Media's digital magazine, Weekly Shonen Jump. As of October 2016, the series has been compiled into 25 Tonkaban volumes in Japan, and is also being released in English in digital and print volumes by Viz Media. The manga has inspired a novel series titled Nisikoi Yurabana, written by Hajime Tanaka, and published by Shuisha. There have been two volumes published on June 4th, and December 28th, 2013. If you're in the mood for a light-hearted romantic comedy, Nisikoi is still one of our favorites. It follows two high school students, Raku and Chitigi, whose fathers run rival gangs. Raku and Chitigi kind of hate each other, but to keep peace between the gangs, their fathers decide that their children have to date, and Raku and Chitigi have to pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend, so all hell doesn't break loose. Of course, Raku has a crush on a different girl, which throws a bit of a wrench in things. Nisikoi might have some harem DNA, but it is one of the few shows even close to the genre where the protagonist is extremely likable. It's not hard to believe that both Chitigi and Onadira might possibly fall for Raku, who is charming in his own way. Moreover, with animation from Studio Shaft, Nisikoi has a distinctive style that only makes each heart fluttering blush-inducing moment even better. But if you want my personal opinion on this, I would prefer reading Nisikoi's manga rather than watching the anime. Just save yourself some time. At number 4 we have Toradora. Toradora is a Japanese light novel series by Yuyuko Takamiya, with illustrations by Yasu. The series includes 10 novels released between March 10th, 2006 and March 10th, 2009, published by ASC2 Media Works under the Dinkiki Bunko imprint. Three volumes volumes of a spin-off light novel series were also created, aptly titled Toradora Spin-Off. A manga adaptation by Zekio started serialization in September 2007 by shonen manga magazine's Denkiki Comic Gao, published by MediaWorks. The manga ended serialization in Denkiki Comic Gao with the March 2008 issue, but continued serialization in ASC2 MediaWorks manga magazine Denkaki Dayo, where Yuji Takasa has a scary face but a gentle soul. Taiga Aisaka is tiny but a fierce girl who is always ready for a fight, so much that she is known around the school as the Palm Top Tiger. Due to Taiga's excessive clumsiness, the two end up talking and discover that they have crushes on each other's best friends. They of course decide to wingman each other. That might sound like a pretty standard rom-com setup, but Toradora is anything but basic. Its relatable, unique characters have fantastic chemistry and it actually avoids the pitfalls of a lot of rom-coms. Moreover, without spoiling anything, it has one of the best romance scenes in all of anime. At number 3, we have one of my personal favorites being Your Lie in April. Your Lie in April, known in Japan as Shigatu wa Kimi no Uso, or Kimi yo Uso for short, is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Naoshi Arakawa. The series was serialized in Kodansha's monthly shonen magazine from April 2011 to March 2015. An anime television series adaptation by A1 Pictures aired from October 2014 to March 2015 on Fuji's TV's Noitomina Block. A live-action film adaptation of the same name was released in September 2016, but we all know how live adaptations go. Your Lie in April is a heartfelt story about Ara Mikose, a pianist prodigy whose career is derailed by a traumatic event. However, a chance encounter with Kaiori Miyazano, who is a free-spirited violinist, reignites a passion he thought had long faded. What makes Your Lie in April 
April interesting is, for the most part, it doesn't focus on the romance between Arima and Kaori. Instead, it explores their complicated personal issues and uses these to bring them closer in a way that feels natural and authentic. Arima's destructive relationship with his mother and its lasting impact on his psyche is a dark cloud surrounding him. When his fingers touch ivory keys, the traumatic memories envelop and overcome to the point where he is unable to hear what he's even playing. Kaori's infectious energy and tenacious drive to see him fight through the darkness becomes his guiding light. Together, they both learn what music really means to them and, in time, what they mean to each other. Your Lie in April is as much about finding what you love as it is falling in love. At number two, we have His and Her Circumstances. Kare Kono is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Masa Misuda. It was serialized in Lala from 1996 to 2005 and collected in 21 Tonkaban volumes in Hakusensha. It depicts the romance between perfect student Yukino Miyazawa and her academic rival Soichiro Aruma and the relationships of several of their friends. The series is licensed and was published in English in North America by Tokyo Pop. His and Her Circumstances, also known as Kare Kano, tells the love story of two seemingly perfect students that are secret extremely flawed individuals. Miyazawa thrives on admiration and privately calls herself a queen of vanity. She meets model student Arima who starts to take attention away from her and is immediately determined to bring him down. Arima finds out her secret and blackmails her, revealing a different side to himself. They form a friendship and eventual romance. Together they learn to be more comfortable with their true selves and accept who they really are, at least with each other. The personalities of the opposite beat two-faced main characters, and the unique ways they handle their problems sets his and her circumstances apart from the other shoujo romances. The romance in this anime also feels realistic and authentic. As a warning, the anime does end abruptly, and you will have to switch to the manga to continue the story, so for the sake of saving time, just start reading the manga. However, the 26 episode anime is worth seeking out for the unique, fluctuating animation styles, balancing the humor and drama of this character-driven love story. Finally, at number one, we have my all-time favorite romance anime being 5 centimeters per second, which I made a whole nother video on. 5 centimeters per second is a 2007 Japanese animated romantic drama film by Makoto Shinkai. It theatrically premiered on March 3rd, 2007. The film consists of three segments, Cherry Blossom, Cosmonaut, and 5 centimeters per second, each following a period in Takaki Tono's life and his relationships with the girls around him. The film was awarded Best Animated Feature Film at the 2007 Asia Pacific Screen Awards. It received a novelization in November 2007 and a manga adaptation illustrated by Saiki Yukiko in 2010. The story is set in Japan, beginning in the late 1990s up until the present day, which then was 2008, with each act centered around a boy named Takaki Tono. Five centimeters per second is a film broken up into three parts covering the childhood and young adult life of Takaki. As an elementary schooler, he befriends and falls for a girl named Akari. In addition to being about young love, 5 centimeters per second really captures the feeling of distance between two people who either don't connect or can't connect, and its animation and direction beautifully captured the melancholy throughout the chapters of Takaki's life. Well, that's all for today, folks. I've been broken obsessed in my otaku ways, and I will see all of you lovely people in the next video.